At Lou's, we take great pride in our boot fitting, but we think ski selection is every bit as important. It, it's easy in the last few years, especially in our area, to just sell everybody a big fat wide ski. A lot of people come in and just want a big fat wide ski. Um, a wide ski meaning 115 millimeters underfoot and even more. They're fabulous powder skis. What you might have missed is that there are a lot of articles recently, uh, but only recently, talking about how big wide skis used on groomed runs or even firm runs are causing knee pain and knee injuries. You might not know that Kim Hewson, uh, a well-known American surgeon, teaches in the Telluride Ski School and he lectures ski school on how wide skis are causing knee pain and knee injuries. We've never been around here a fan of wide skis. Wide skis are great powder skis. We don't feel they're the best skis for say Lake Louise and uh, Norquay, Nikiska and even Sunshine. We don't need to go super wide in order to have skis that perform really well. So on top is a narrow race carving ski and on the bottom is of course a wide powder ski. What we think is that for around here, a single ski somewhere in the middle is ideal. We have a nice selection here of skis in the 85 to 95 millimeter range that are excellent carving skis on firm snow, but have enough early rise at the tip. I think you can see how much early rise these skis have, that they're very good crud and overall powder skis. So if we're building, um, if we're building a quiver of skis, a great big wide fat powder ski for around here is wonderful. But if you're building one pair of skis that needs to do everything, we are absolute fans of 85 to 95 millimeter underfoot skis. And we think you can get a ski in that range that carves really well, is stable at speed, is very easy to turn, and still is a good floaty powder ski.